I used to get upset when people used to bash Staten Island and say, you know, Staten Island's a forgotten borough. The last thing you had was the Wu-Tang Clan. It's not just Wu-Tang. It's, it's a lot of other things that Staten Island's doing. They're doing great things. Everything to me looked the same. No creativity, no originality. I just wanted to do something different. I wanted to inspire people through something and I thought apparel would be the perfect thing. Snapbacks are like a staple. It's an everyday item that you know you don't leave your house without. The white hat with the black brim and the red heart, that was the first product that I have ever created. To me, my story is behind that hat. I played Division One football at St. Francis. The first people to actually support me were uh, members of the St. Francis football team. And after they bought hats, I decided to create another two dozen posts with the hats to social media. And ever since then, I never looked back. My first collaboration was actually with Matt Elam. And, you know, Matt has a slogan, it's called Eat Greedy. So I just thought, you know, first love yourself, eat greedy together. It's a win-win. Uh, eat Greedy was a thing that I came up with. I just felt like eat greedy, eat greedy, you know what I'm saying? Like making sacrifices, you know what I'm saying, when you're tired. But I had no plans on putting it on hats or shirts or nothing like that, so Ev brought that along. I couldn't help but be, you know what I'm saying, be, to be a part of it because of the ideas he had and I saw how ambitious he was and how hard he was working. It was an all black snapback with a purple heart. The black and purple is for the Baltimore Ravens. They do also have gold in their jerseys. Damn, that's big, that's big. I could put it on my website, you can sell it, man. We previewed it and things like that, how amazed people was and how bad people wanted. Like, they would say, I want this, I need this. For someone to be in the NFL, drafted in the first round, and for them to, you know, see something in my brand and want to be a part of my brand, it meant a lot to me. I feel good just knowing that I have a son that didn't settle for less when he could have more. If he loves himself first, all things are possible. First love yourself means be original, be unique. Don't put limits and restrictions on yourself. I feel like self-love has to do a lot with confidence. If you do have confidence, if you do have self-love, you'll motivate yourself to be what it is that you wanna be. My purpose on this earth wasn't to be a football player. It was to be something else. It was to motivate people. Evan and Dominique went to school together and I have this picture of the two of them from when they were like, five or six. And every time I looked at that picture, in my heart, I truly believed that they were gonna be someone, someone special. Next was, uh, you know, my childhood friend, Dominique Easley. We actually collaborated on hockey jerseys. We played for Curtis High School. It's fun just to be, to be able to play a sport that you love and to be able to play with people that are close to you is definitely a memorable experience. We got to win a championship. Glorious, prepare for glory, oh, oh, oh. When I seen the Matt Elam have, it actually made me want to hurry up and get into a collaboration with Evan, you know, because I, I felt like it was real dope. The hockey jerseys, they had significance for him because we put his uh, college number, which was a number two, and for the name on the back of the jerseys, we put Chucky because that's how he was identified in college. To me, Chucky always meant a person that just don't stop at what they want. You know, like there was a lot of bumps in the road, a lot of good and bad. Chucky to watch the movie. Like he wanted, he wanted that soul, you know? Mm -hmm. He just did whatever it was, no matter how many times he died, no matter how many times he got hurt doing it. He just kept going at it, just kept going at it. He was funny at it. And the hockey jerseys, those did well also. They sold out. To know that you yourself created something and people like it, better yet, people love it, and it sells out so fast, it makes you feel good, it makes you feel great behind you know, closed doors, be, behind the cameras. You get to see like who they really are as a person. You get to see their creative side as well. And you know, Dominique and Matt, those are big fashion guys. They, they wear you know, everything from the urban clothes to the high-end fashion. I'm going into like putting it on shorts, you know what I'm saying, eat greedy, putting on different things. Like Ev kind of gave me the ideas to, you know what I'm saying, make it bigger. Like we're friends, so we have the same mindset. We all want to get something done with our life. No telling what can be next. It can be just like the polo on your shirt. I said the sky's the limits.